untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another historic game the video. Today we're taking a look at a Monoret Lightning Tribal deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. It's a discard synergy deck featuring eight different finishes with a Lightning Phoenix and Arclight Phoenix, as well as a full playset of Hollow One, a 5 mana 4 4 from Amoncat Remastered that costs two less to cast for each card we've cycled or discarded this turn. So we can often cast Hollow One for one or even zero mana in this deck, since we have so many discard effects to help us put our two finishes in the graveyard and eventually get them back. Lightning Phoenix, a 3 mana 2 2 flying haste that cannot block from jumpstart, and at the beginning of our end step, if an opponent was dealt three or more damage this turn we can pay one red mana to return the lightning phoenix from our graveyard to the battlefield and then we've got arc light phoenix a 3-2 flying haste that at the beginning of combat on our turn if we've cast three or more instant and sorcery cards we get to return arc light phoenix from the graveyard to the battlefield where it can attack right away and maybe help us get back a lightning phoenix from the graveyard as well and then of course the full place of the hollow one and then two copies of ox of agonos as the only other creature in the deck which we can often escape from the graveyard for double red by exiling eight other cards from our graveyard and then it escapes with a plus one plus one counter on it and when the ox enters the battlefield we discard our hand and then draw three cards so usually want to escape it when we're almost empty-handed and also has good synergy with the rest of the deck so that's our game plan try and discard phoenix get them back and cast a cheap hollow one and then taking a look at the supporting cast of instance and sorceries at one mana we've got a full playset of lightning axe which for just one mana deals five damage to target creature but as an additional cost to cast lightning axe we either discard a card or pay five mana but we're usually pretty happy to discard an arc light phoenix or lightning phoenix to our lightning axe to put those in the graveyard then we've got two copies of shock dealing two damage to any target and four copies of warlord's fury giving our creatures first strike until end of turn and also lets us draw a card so this is just a cheap cantrip to help us get back arc light phoenix from the graveyard more easily and the first strike is also better than trample would be in this deck which is why we're playing fury over crash through then at two mana we've got the full play set of cathartic reunion which has an additional cost to cast we need to discard two cards and then draw three so this essentially discounts our hollow one by four making it very easy to cast in the same turn and will also help us put some of those finishes in the graveyard then we've got two copies of lightning strike as another burn spell dealing three damage to any target can also point this at the opponent's face to maybe get back lightning phoenix from the graveyard then two copies of Thrill of Possibility, which at instant speed makes us discard a card to draw two, and Tormenting Voice, which is the sorcery speed version of Thrill of Possibility. And the reason why we have a split of Thrill and Tormenting Voice is for Finale of Promise, which is often going to be cast for X equals two in this deck. And finally, for X equals two will cost four mana total, and then we can cast up to one target instant card and or up to one target sorcery card from our graveyard, each with converted mana cost X or less, without paying their mana costs, and then those spells will be exiled as well. So Final of Promise can help us get back a Cathartic Reunion and maybe a removal spell like Lightning Strike or Shock from the graveyard. And then at the same time, we're also casting three spells since Finale counts itself and the two spells we're getting back. So just a single Finale for X equals two or sometimes even X equals one will help us get back any copies of Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard, which is nice. So even if we don't have a ton of spells to work with, we can still get access to our Arclight Phoenix, which is very important. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire deck. Then going over the mana base, we've got two copies of Forgotten Cave, which we can also cycle for one mana, which will help us with our Hollow One. And then 16 basic mountains with a lightning theme from Jumpstart, as well as four copies of Ramanap Ruins, which can help us close out the game by dealing two damage to the opponent when we sacrifice a desert. So that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play, facing Anumori, the Collector deck, so... Who knows, maybe a Mutate or a Goblin stack. Our hand is okay. Uh, probably have to play Cave Tapped on turn 1, so we don't have to take a million damage off our Ramana Prunes. And it is a Goblin stack with turn 1 Prospector. So we're gonna have to find some removal. Alright, so next turn, if I draw another 1 mana spell, I could maybe get back Arclight Phoenix. Lightning Axe would be ideal, because then I can discard the second Phoenix as well. Otherwise, we'll maybe set up for turn 4, getting back double Phoenix. Turn to Instigator. 
So the reason the goblin decks are splashing white and green is for Yasharn, which they sometimes have in the main deck too now, strangely enough. If we want to avoid the turn 3 Muxus, I probably should kill Prospector. Um, and then I'm thinking of hanging on to my Shock and just use my Lightning Strike so we can next turn Cathartic and play two 1 mana spells. And we'll pass it back. Alternatively, we could have cast Reunion and then Shock to this turn. Although then there's a risk of not having enough spells to cast next turn. So we'll take the two from Warchief. Alright, so Reunion discarding Phoenix and Reunion. Sadly can't Reunion a second time here. I mean, I could, but it's probably not worth it. Actually should have cast Fury first, just in case my next draw was a Lightning Axe, so I could have discarded the third Phoenix, but didn't get punished. Alright, so we're on the board with double Phoenix. Opponent's pretty far from casting Muxus, which is a card we're most afraid of. It's gonna be a turn for Krenko, although without haste it's a lot less threatening. And finally, if Promise is looking quite promising. So X equals 2 helps me get back Cathartic and Lightning Strike. So that seems like a good starting point. And then I should be able to just kill my opponent here. Well, drawing three copies of Arclight Phoenix in the top 20 cards usually pretty helpful. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. So this is looking like maybe turn three we can cast Reunion and maybe Lightning Axe in the same turn to cast a free Hollow one. Second Reunion means I probably Reunion now just to hit my land drop for next turn. And I can get rid of Phoenix and Lightning Strike. Alright, plenty of lands to go around, so I can also Reunion Cycle Cave, which will give me a free Hollow One. Since there's nothing to Axe. And then do I just get rid of Double Axe or Land Axe? We'll go Land Axe. Ooh, two Hollow Ones in one turn. This will also help me get back Lightning Phoenix that's already in the graveyard. Opponent reading Hollow One. Can be Fatal Pushed since it's five mana, so... That's an advantage. And then next turn I can just cast Lightning Phoenix, attack for 10, get Lightning Phoenix back from the graveyard. Although that could line up poorly if my opponent has Extinction Event, since all my creatures are oddly costed. Maybe we'll keep one Phoenix in hand. Just Lightning Axe discarding land. then probably fine to play land. Alright, hopefully no extinction events. And then next turn we could have lethal. Alright, sweet, opponent packs it in. Quick hollow one beatdown onto the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Um, sure. Ox of Agonos, a card we typically want to discard early on, and we've got Tormenting Voice to do exactly that. And we'll get to see a lot of new cards by turn 3. 
another hollow one. Don't really have the best hand to cast a free hollow one, although for Gun Cave could definitely help. I think I still need to Tormenting Voice and then hopefully draw into like Cathartic Reunion plus a land. Well, there's Cathartic Reunion, so if I Reunion, I can discard Phoenix Ox. If we draw into Basic Mountain, I can cycle Cave and then play a double free hollow one. That seems exciting. Put on main phasing an omen of the sea. And there's an untapped land, perfect. So reunion, discard these two. Cycle. Alright, and then next turn we might be able to get back our Lightning Phoenix as well. And my opponent explodes. Can't handle the Hollow Ones. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Reunion plus Cave means I probably wait until turn 3 to cast Reunion and play free Hollow One. Although I could also play Cave and then Lightning Axe gives me another discard effect. Although that might be bad if my opponent's not playing a creature deck. Alright, so just mountain pass for now. And then hope to join two more copies of Hollow One. Hushbringer's fine. Probably just shock the Hushbringer. I mean, I don't really care about it. It doesn't stop any ETB effects except for Ox. So I'll take my draw. And then Reunion, I suppose, could get rid of Tormenting Voice Lightning Axe. And then I can Cycle Cave, play Free Hollow One. Or I could Cycle Cave first. If I'm not gonna shock the Hushbringer. Ooh, nice, another Hollow One. Alright, so... Reunion. Maybe I should hang on to Lightning Axe in case my opponent's an Aura deck and they're gonna put a bunch of enchantments on Hushbringer. And then Shock won't be able to kill it anymore. Turn 3, double hollow one. Alright, no enchantments. Opponent's looking at my graveyard. Punishments. Alright, so I guess we gotta start uh, unlocking our hollow one. Play line first in case of spell pierce. Ooh, one mana hollow one. And then I could still lightning axe, or I could lightning axe first. Discard Phoenix, although I wouldn't be able to cast three spells to get back Arc Light Phoenix this turn. So probably just play hollow one. And then uh, hit for four. Keep up lightning axe in case they move in on the Hushbringer. Nice, some green mana. Sir Point splashing for Uro to maybe combo with Hushbringer, who knows? So Spirit Dancer is now the creature we want to try and kill. Discard Phoenix, I guess. And then hope to draw a final if promise to get back Arclight Phoenix. And my opponent concedes. Alright. Well, Hollow One getting the job done here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Finally, great combo with Arclight Phoenix, so we can cast Reunion and Fury without having to worry about running out of spells in hand. 
so I might wait on reunion until turn three, so we can hollow one in the same turn, and then turn four, try and get back Arclight Phoenix. Opponent on Teamer with a Paradise Root, so probably the Neoform deck. Yeah, we'll wait. And I'm just gonna have to do my own thing here. Don't have any removal to keep up. Just gonna try and put them under pressure and hope they don't find the combo before we kill them. All right, so we'll reunion, discarding the two birds. And next one we can finally. There's no instant to get back at the moment, I guess, is the issue. All right, so they don't have the combo just yet. So I guess I could Lightning Phoenix attack and then get back another Lightning Phoenix. Or I can Reunion dig for removal, but I'm not even sure if removal is going to save me here when they have a Hexproof creature they can work with. So I guess we're just going to go with Lightning Phoenix and attack. So let's see for dead. Our opponent has looked at a lot of cards, and it's going to be Neoform plus Dual Caster Mage for the combo, and that should be game. So yeah, even if we did have a Lightning Axe, it would not have mattered since they have plenty of dual caster mages to search up. If they only had one or two dual caster mages in the deck, we can maybe kill all of them so that the clone effects don't have a dual caster mage to copy, and then the combo kind of fizzles out. But most versions play the full place of the dual caster mage, so that doesn't come up as much. And then a rubble fort for haste, and a combat celebrant for a double attack step. It's going to be more than enough. All right, GG's. There is an attack all button that makes uh, this attack a little easier. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw, facing a Lurus of the Dream Den deck. And we've got ample removal, which is usually the main criteria. So we'll keep. And hope uh, we can deal with most of the spirit dancers that show up. Right, opponent's just moving in on the Alsaid. Also, we can Lightning Axe it. And then get rid of... Maybe another Lightning Axe and keep Lightning Strike. And I can Thrill end of turn, discarding maybe Caves. Savior's gonna make my next removal spell ineffective. I guess I can hang on to the cave and discard runes instead. Alright, so now if I Cathartic and find an untapped land, I can play Hollow One. Do 
Do I even hang on to a lightning strike at this point? Doesn't seem incredibly useful. Although maybe I just have to fight through the selfless saviors. No, I'll discard it. Maybe draw into another hollow one we can play for free. Alright, just to one. No finishes to get back just yet. Can maybe discard the Lightning Phoenix and get it back. Staggering Insights. And that's it. Don't really want to just tap out for Lightning Phoenix and attack. Kind of want to start interacting with the Enchanted Creature if possible. And do I Cathartic again discarding Phoenix? Alright, Finalis, Excellence. And then... Could attack, get back Lightning Phoenix, and then Lightning Axe the creature, but then they will get to draw at least one card. Probably just stay back. And then I can Lightning Axe, untap Lightning Axe again using Finale or some other removal spell that we have. Opponents puts Lurus in hand. Now Lurus plus Selfless Savior is going to be a bit of a problem. Alright, so finally for two gets back. I guess Lightning Strike works and something else. I guess uh, Reunion is fine. And if we draw an untap line, I can get back Lightning Phoenix as well. And Ox is not a bad last card to have. So opponent can go Lurus, probably gets back Selfless Savior to protect Lurus. Nope, goes for Staggering Insight. Well, they went for the Greedy play, which did not pan out. So just kill Lurus. And that's game over. All right, sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Probably going to play Cave Tapped on turn one so we can cast a two-drop on Curve. Well, let's see what we're up against. Not sure yet to which two-drop I'm playing. Since we have double reunion, I can maybe... Save one for turn three. Maybe a black-white sacrifice deck here. Yeah, I guess we'll reunion discarding Thrill and Phoenix. That way I also put an instant in the graveyard, which can be useful for finale. And then next turn I can reunion plus maybe a lightning axe. And play a free hollow one, and we even drew a second one, perfect. So, reunion. Discard these two. Nice, triple hollow one. Do I need land four? Nah. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. It's a Christmas miracle, and my opponent concedes. You love to see it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine-looking hand. 
Maybe hold reunion till turn three to combo with her hollow one. Although I might need to cast a turn two just to make sure I don't uh, miss my land drops. Yeah, I guess we can just cycle a fury. Alright. And then casting the reunion next turn still gives me a good shot of finding a third land. Opponent on what looks like a life gain deck. Angel Vitality we can shock. Or I could wait and then Lightning Axe. That way if I draw a second hollow one I can still play that one for free. Yeah, I guess we'll wait. So I'm really counting on finding a land here. Alright, we did. And then now I'm kind of forced to Lightning Axe. If we want to play hollow one as well. Discard Lightning Phoenix. And then, yeah, maybe next turn I can cast three spells to get back double Arclight Phoenix. Although my opponent will have to present multiple creatures for me to kill. Otherwise, Hollow One can hit for four and get back Lightning Phoenix. I guess I could Cathartic, discarding Lightning Strike, Lightning Axe. And then if we draw, I guess I would have to draw another one drop for that to work. Or I can discard Lightning Strike land, and then if I draw land I can Lightning Axe and just shock their face to get back. Double Arclight Phoenix, which might be worth it. It's a pretty all-in play. Yeah, I guess I'll go for it. So we don't get back Lightning Phoenix, but double Arclight should do. And then we still have double Ramonap Ruins as ways to potentially close out the game. Alright, and my opponent concedes, so pretty fun game here against a life gain deck. So overall, I wouldn't necessarily recommend spending your wild cards on this deck since it's never going to be the most competitive deck in Historic. But it is fun and it does have some potentially powerful draws with a lot of hollow ones or copies of Arclight Phoenix. And there's definitely potential for the deck to improve if they ever give us additional cheap uh, discard effects. Maybe a faithless looting at some point, although that's probably wishful thinking. That could definitely improve the deck. And uh, they did leave out some key cards from the modern hollow one version in Jumpstart. Uh, they didn't give us access to goblin lore, so that probably means they wouldn't be giving us similar cards anytime soon, which would otherwise help out the deck as well. So yeah, those are just my thoughts about the archetype in general. But for now, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and happy holidays! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.